you got to know if you're doing it for the money or if you're doing it for the fame, if you're doing it for the music itself. I'm Jabran Abbasi. I'm a musician and uh, it's been, I think, 15 years or maybe 12 years since I've been playing guitars. I never thought that I'd like take it uh, so professionally because, uh, of course, like, you know, in our society, it's not like very uh, easy at this point. After a lot of development in the field of music, especially in the Indian subcontinent, the Pakistani music industry is still struggling and so are the artists. Even though in the beginning like people would get pissed off at me like for playing for hours and hours and like my show was a lot of work. Even those who were sitting there, I'd just bang the guitar and they'd be like, Chup ho jau, Juran, please, chup ho jau. But then again, it's, that's, the, that's the journey. You know, sometimes it just takes like five minutes to make a piece, the whole thing. But sometimes it can really make make you take like six months. Masses level pe art ki appreciation nahi hai. Major source of income ek artist ya ek band ki jo hai, wo live shows hi hota hai hamesha se. Uh, I've been playing music for past uh, 20 years now. I've been played with Fusion, Amir Zaki, Farid Ayaz, all of them. Bhoat concerts bajaye. Mujhe mere dost jitne bhi hain, wo mujhe calls karte hain ki yaar free entry karwa do. Matlab ek 500 rupee ke pas ke liye. Mere apne jo circle ke log hain, wo kehte hain ki yaar main khareed ke liye jana chata. Kuch gigs hote hain jo aapko thoda sa disheart bhi kar dete hain because you just go there and you expect like a lot of things and then Okay, crowd response is okay, appreciation is fine, but when you don't get a lot of money through it, so that's when, you know, things start to boggle a little. Yaar, wo suna hai aapka show hai, haan. Passes to kara do. Yaar, matlab, ek basic dinner pe nikalte hai, to hum 1500-2000 rupi to aise hi kharch kar dete hai. आप 300-500 रुपए का टिकट नहीं खरीद सकते। वो 300-500 रुपए कुछ भी नहीं है। वो 300-500 रुपए हजार रुपए से आप ये सोचें पूरा एक सेटअप हुआ है एक कॉन्सर्ट का। उसमें बैंड्स को आर्टिस्ट्स को बुलाया गया है, उनको ट्रैवल कराया गया है, उनकी फीस दी गई है, पता नहीं क्या-क्या चीजें Music itself cannot survive. Wali wali, jo as, as art. This is the problem. Because we have said that this is art. Okay? It is art so much value. Unfortunately, in Pakistan, music cannot be practiced for the sake of art and needs to be patronized. Hence, Pakistani artists are apparently dependent on different brands and corporates. Right now, the situation is that the corporate clients are going to survive. In the Battle of the Bands, when we went to the and we participated there, it completely revamped us. It was a complete game changer for us. It was a complete game changer for us. So all these platforms, uh, Battle of the Bands, ho gaya, ya, for example, Coke Studio, ho gaya, Basement, ho gaya, brands aake support karte hai, hai? Usme ek, ye sabse bada fayda hota hai, ke aapka jo music hai, usko bahut eyeballs milte hai, bahut sare kaan milte hai, aur bahut achhi reach milti hai. Like, Sunday, I go to the beach just to 
I don't even take my guitar with me. I just go there and just listen to the winds and listen to the, you know, the sea and just come back home. Okay, this specific tune, um, I call this one Full Circle because it really took me a while to make this. Actually, I just, I made this, uh, just the beginning of it in Hunza. The creative process musicians go through is very intricate and close to their heart, yet they have to compromise. I am trying my best not to be very controversial. <laughs> okay, um, when you work with a commercial brand or you work with a commercial platform, there are many elements in which you have to compromise in terms of your music. Ki for example, Darvesh ka sound and the music has always been very theatrical and very story based. Our songs are 8-8, 12-12 minutes, 14-14 minutes. We have to cut down and make 3-4 minutes. In the commercial platforms, there is a scene when a corporate client is paying you for their uh, services. When a corporate client is paying you for doing art, so, it's an agenda. So, there are many restrictions. Obviously, if you have a lot of money, I understand that you have a lot of money. And it's not a replacement. It's not a purpose. It's not a purpose. It's not a purpose. But, like, creators are not a good thing. That's the idea. Now, the idea of the creative liberty is what an artist craves for. In these circumstances, the question arises that where to draw the line between compromise and creative expression. A lot of people just do it for the fame, a lot of people just do it for the money. I'm telling you that's not the way. Like, if you want to make music, you got to be really honest with it. And it's not only about money, man. You got to be true to your art and craft. And then Allah will decide that you need to pay for it or you need to pay for it. Allah will decide for you what you need to get. Do you know what you need to get? Artists like Jibran, Soheb and Zain who ideally want to pursue music for the sake of art seek patronship that is free from commercial and corporate agendas. This is where the patronship by the state can play a role. Such policies might prove to be a ray of hope for the Pakistani musicians. Keep your hopes up and uh, do it right and make sure that you choose the right path and you just keep on doing it.